One of the Arduino Mega 2560's advantages are the multiple hardware serial ports. While in the Arduino Uno you have only one available hardware serial port which is shared with the USB port, in the Arduino Mega you have a total of four. In this lecture I will demonstrate how to use two of the four hardware serial ports simultaneously. As these ports are implemented in hardware, you will be able to have full speed serial communications with peripherals like GPS and Wi-Fi modules. Unlike with the Arduino Uno, the availability of multiple serial ports means that you no longer have to depend on the software serial library. In turn, this means that you don't have to sacrifice any digital input-output pins or flash memory. Let's get started. One of the really useful features of the Arduino Due and the Arduino Mega are the additional serial ports that both boards include. The two boards have got a total of three additional serial ports when compared to the Arduino Uno and uh, most of the other Arduino boards. So the Arduino Mega specifically has got three additional ports. So there's serial one on pins 19 and 18, serial two, pins 17 and 16, and serial three, pins 15 and 14. It's a similar story for the Arduino Duo. It's got uh, three additional 3.3 volt serial ports, serial one, two, and three on the same pins. This is the serial port, uh, in this case, TX0 and RX0. And these, it, this is the port that is broken out from the USB connector to the computer. And in addition to this port, there's also number three, TX3 and RX3, and there is TX2 and RX2, and TX1 and RX1. Those are not broken out from one of, uh, from the USB port. You'll have to provide your own uh, serial to USB adapter to be able to use them, as I'll do in the example very soon. Uh, in the Arduino Dua, you've got the exact same layout. So the uh, TX0 and RX0 pins are broken out to the USB connector, the programming USB connector, which allows you to connect to these to this communication serial port from the USB connector that is going via the Atmega 16U2 chip, this chip here. Just like the Mega, you've got the additional three serial ports and you need to provide a serial to USB adapter to be able to use the ports from these pins. So I'll just concentrate on the Arduino Mega for the example that I'll give you. I'm going to use a serial USB adapter, plug it into serial one port, and then have a little communication between the two ports. Let's see, so I'll just connect it really quickly. Uh, the blue one is ground, so ground will go here. The red wire is five volts. So plug that into the five volt port. The white wire is transmit, so that is going to go to receive one pin on the Arduino Mega. And finally, the yellow wire is going to be the receive on the breakout. And that's going to go to the transmit pin on the Arduino Mega. All right. Next, let's plug in the boards. First of all, I've got the, the, the serial to USB connector. So I'm going to plug that to one of the available USB ports on my computer. Okay. And then for serial, you can plug the second USB cable to the second available port on my computer.
Okay. I'm going to bring up one of the example sketches. So we'll go to communication and then let's say uh, multi serial. So I'd like to bring up this example here. So what's happening here is first we start the serial port, the one that is broken out to the USB connector on the Arduino Mega board. And then we do the same for serial one which is uh, the port that is broken down through receive and transmit pins zero, the yellow and the white wire. This little sketch, all it does is to wait for the ports to be open and available and then it will just read whatever you type in and then write it to the other port. So we'll do some reading from the serial port number one and then whatever we read, we'll write it to serial. Then we we'll do the exact opposite. We read whatever is available in serial and then write it in serial one. Okay, so let's select the correct uh, port for the mega because now we've got two USB ports, serial ports connected. So, yep, so we've got the genuine Omega, Omega 2560 and upload the sketch. All right, so the sketch is uploaded. Now I need two uh, serial monitors to be able to see the data flying from one port to the other. For the first monitor, I'll just use the built-in monitor that comes with the Arduino IDE. And I've got that one set to USB modem 1411, uh, which is the USB port on the Arduino Mega board. For the second, I'm going to use a terminal. And at least on the Mac, I'll use the screen utility to connect to the second USB serial port. So I'll just say screen and then navigate to uh, let's see, I've got the USB modem 1421 and the speed is 9600 boards. Okay, so now anything that I type from one terminal will appear in the other terminal. So I just type the numbers 1 to 3 inside the screen utility and that appeared in the Arduino IDE serial monitor. And I'll do the same thing. I'll go to the Arduino IDE serial monitor. Just put them next to each other and type something else like 987. And that appears in the screen utility, which is connected to serial one. Okay, it's all good. So this is a, an example of how you can use the multiple serial ports available on the Arduino Mega and on the Arduino Uno to allow for multiple serial devices to be connected to these Arduino boards. Think of devices such as uh, the ESP2866 module that is possible to use as a Wi-Fi module in serial mode. So you'd be able to connect that to your Arduino and you'll have a very cheap Wi-Fi module. Uh, you can do similar things with other uh, modules such as uh, GPS modules that usually come with a simple to use serial interface. So when you have things such as uh, an ESP2866 serial module plus a GPS module, both of them with a serial communication interface, then you see that the ability to have multiple serial hardware serial channels open is, is good without sacrificing any of the GPIOs. In other Arduino boards like the Uno, for example, where you only have a single hardware serial port, you can still use devices, peripherals that require serial communications, but you'll have to use software serial ports instead of hardware. And those take up additional uh, GPIOs, which for smaller boards like the Uno are not that plentiful as they are on a Mega. 
Let's uh, repeat the process now using the Arduino Dua instead of the Arduino Mega. So we'll unplug Mega and remove all the jumper wires and replace it with the Dua. And the pinouts are identical, so I'll just connect power first. So blue is for ground. And now just be careful because the the Arduino Dua is a 3.3 volt board. The USB to serial adapter that I'm using here allows me to switch from 5 volts to 3 volts. So that's what I'll do before plugging any more uh, jumpers in. I'm going to move that to 3.3 volts. Okay, and now the red wire will go to 3.3 volts. The transmit will go to TX, uh, sorry, RX1. And the yellow wire is the receive on the adapter that is going to go to transmit on the Arduino. Okay. Let's plug in the Arduino Dua. through the programming port. To my computer. Get out of the screen utility. Okay. I use the exact same sketch. I will just change the board settings. So now I'm going to use the Arduino Dua through the programming port and the serial is exposed at 1411 like that. So let's upload the sketch first. done uploading and bring up the serial monitor and let's connect to serial one using the screen utility so that's at TTY it should be USB hmm it's only one USB so plug this in and out Let's double check my connections 3.3 and the red goes to, oh, sorry, I made a mistake. So the red wire should go to V out like that. Okay. So we now have a 1421 USB modem. So let's see, type ASD. <laughs> okay. And on the other side, one, two, three, and enter. All right, communication. It works exactly the same way as in the Arduino Mega. So there was an example of how you can use the additional hardware serial ports on the Arduino Mega and the Arduino Dura. Very useful if you want to connect multiple serial peripherals to your Arduinos without sacrificing digital input output pins using uh, software serial, the software serial library. And of course it's fully implemented in hardware which means that your sketch uh, will not be sacrificing any of its performance in order to deal with the communication requirements of your serial peripherals.